So here we have the mixed number 1 and 72 hundredths and we need to write this number as a decimal. So if we remember our decimal place values, we know that after the decimal point, we have tenths, then hundredths, and then thousandths. So if we have a mixed number where the fraction has a denominator of 10, 100, or 1000, we can change that mixed number into a decimal number. So we have one whole, so that's one in the units. Then we have 72 hundredths. But we have a problem here because we can only have one digit in each place value column. So here, because our mixed number has a denominator of 100, we can't go past the hundredths column, which means that the digits have to move to the left. So that's 7 in the tenths place and 2 in the hundredths place to make our decimal number 1.72. So why do we write 7 in the tenths column when our mixed number has a denominator of 100, not 10? Well here, you have to understand equivalent fractions. 72 hundredths is the same as 7 tenths plus 2 hundredths. That's because with 7 tenths, we can make an equivalent fraction of 70 hundredths. And of course, 70 hundredths plus 2 hundredths is 72 hundredths. But because we can only have one digit in each place value column, we need to think of that 70 hundredths as 7 tenths. So how can we write 8 and 483 thousandths as a decimal? We have 8 holes or 8 units. Then, remember, as the denominator is 1000, we can't go beyond the thousandths place. So instead, digits get moved to the left. So only the 3 from our numerator is in the thousandths place. And that means we have 8 in the hundredths place and 4 in the tenths place. So our decimal is 8.483. That's because 483 thousandths is the same as 4 tenths plus 8 hundredths plus 3 thousandths. Why is it the same? Well, if we multiply both the numerator and denominator of our 4 tenths by 100, we have an equivalent fraction of 400 thousandths. And then, if we multiply both the numerator and denominator of our 8 hundredths by 10, we have an equivalent fraction of 80 thousandths. So then, we can see that 400 thousandths plus 80 thousandths plus 3 thousandths is the same as 483 thousandths. But because we can only have one digit in each place value, we need to have 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. Now, how do we write 1 and 9 hundredths as a decimal? Well, we have one whole, so that's one in our units. And we have nine hundredths, so that's nine in our hundredths place value column. But to show that the nine is nine hundredths, not nine tenths, we need to write zero in our tenths place value column because the hundredths digit always has to be the second digit after the decimal point. So, we can think of 9 hundredths as being 0 tenths plus 9 hundredths because, of course, 0 tenths is the same value as 0 hundredths. But when writing a number as a decimal, we always need tenths before hundredths. How can we write 7 and 25 thousandths as a decimal? 
we have seven wholes or seven units. Then remember, as the denominator is 1000, we can't go beyond the thousandths place. So instead, digits get moved to the left. So only the five from our numerator is in the thousandths place. And that means we have two in the hundredths place. Now here, we need to be careful. We have two hundredths and five thousandths, but that means we need to write a zero in our tenths place because the second digit after the decimal point has to be the hundredths and the third digit after the decimal point has to be the thousandths. So 25 thousandths is really the same as zero tenths plus two hundredths plus five thousandths. That's because zero tenths is equivalent to zero thousandths and two hundredths, if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10, is equivalent to 20 thousandths. So we can see that 25 thousandths is the same as zero thousandths plus 20 thousandths plus five thousandths. But because we can only have one digit in each place value column, and because for our decimal place value columns, we always have tenths, then hundredths, then thousandths, we need to think zero tenths plus two hundredths plus five thousandths. Now, how do we write three and one thousandth as a decimal? We have three units, then we have one in our thousandth place. But to show that it's in our thousandths place, it needs to be the third digit after the decimal point. So we need zeros in our hundredths and tenths. So with decimals, we can think of one thousandth as being zero tenths plus zero hundredths plus one thousandth, because with decimals, we always need tenths and hundredths before thousandths. As zero tenths and zero hundredths are of course both equivalent to zero thousandths, so they don't change the number, but we always need to think tenths, then hundredths, then thousandths.